just going to go over a couple of uh, posts that I made this morning, uh, yesterday actually, and then uh, uh, what happened today. Uh, this one, I put this up yesterday, and we're going to read it there, and this is how it played out today. All right, Bullish Bias was correct, All right? Uh, this one, let's go to the, the post. There's the post. You can see it. Oh, can you see it clearly? Uh, and then uh, I'm doing this fast, so you, you got to read it. You can pause if you like. I'm going to the original post. All right, and my the, the Bullish Bias was correct here. All right, and let's see, U.S. dollar index. Let's go to the, the post I made yesterday. You can read it here. Read. All right, and what are the original message? All right, and today, just looking for valid short setups for the IFG. It's, it's turning out, it's turning out exactly as I thought it would, as, as it, uh, with that, Shallow push, push down. Didn't look like the price intended to go any lower. Then it did this, then it did that. Boom. All right. I was waiting for that FEG to get uh, created with this candle. So uh, we did get a pullback. We did take out the swing high, but you know, it's all good. Uh, and if we go here, let's go to this one. All right. Got two messages here. This was the Sunday analysis. You can see that in uh, the previous video. And prices gap down. You see that big old gap? I was, I was, I'm looking for price to come and close that gap. May not happen today, may not happen tomorrow, but I eventually think price will go up from here to close that gap into uh, this fair value gap and uh, rebalance it. We'll see. But uh, it turned out to be pretty good, pretty good call. Uh, it went up, it went down. This FVG that I've been watching for a while is sitting on a uh, an order block. So price uh, mitigated that order block, pushed up higher, and now we're back to it. With It created a nice fair value gap, which validates the order block in the first place. So I'm looking for it to hold and send prices higher. Yeah. Uh, Let's go to this one and silver. Silver, I've been, you know, I've been tracking silver for a big time, oh, for a long time. Come into this fair value gap. I was looking forward to come into that fair value gap, and I, and I, I'm looking for price to react from it. This is coming in bearish, and it's coming in hot, right into this fair value gap. Even though you see that it is, you see the intersection of a swing high into it. Um, and now uh, we have it playing out insofar as uh, I'm looking at a bearish bias. Once once price uh, pulls back and you uh, expect a reaction from this fair value gap, once price pulls back, I'm looking for it to start to turn over and uh, quite possibly head lower. It's a lot of momentum hitting into there. And this is a, an order block, all right, to a series of up close candles that was engulfed and closed below. I'm looking for price to uh, test this again, test this fair value gap and maybe disrespect it. Okay, let's go down a little. Old. CL, got a lot to read here. Got a lot to read there. All right, but uh, let's go up to the top here. What was the original uh, thing I posted yesterday? Um, I was looking for, you see this consolidation, I'll give it to you in brief. Uh, you see the manipulation of the of the highs, and then we sweep the lows with uh, leaving a fair value gap behind into a bullish fair value gap. All right. Not only did it, I've been watching this bullish fair value gap, and I believe that it would hold, but it also created another fair value gap going into the fair the bearish fair value gap. So. What does that usually mean? Usually means you see this deep penetration into this fair value gap. 
that alone is telling me there's a good chance that this may fail. All right. Could turn around uh, at the point of the breakout, you know, where fair value, the area of fair value uh, ends. All right. Uh, could could have, but it left the fair value gap as it's it, as it's moving up. This tells me price will uh, probably overtake this bearish fair value gap. The bullish fair value gap, there's too much, uh, looks like too much of an intent for price to go higher. All right. Though I, I just read it as indications. And that's exactly how it played out. Took out that bearish fair value gap. All right. Yeah. Up until this point, you know, whenever I see a, a move like this, a break of structure to the downside and a, a, a pullback, I'm looking for price to find uh, resistance here and then continue lower as as in uh, a, a, a lower low, a lower high and a lower low. However, with those other things, those other factors, the fair value, the higher time, higher time frame, the um, higher time frame of uh, bullish fair value gap and creating another fair value gap from the bullish fair value gap. All right. Uh, I'm looking for price to continue higher after a, a deep penetration of that bearish fair value gap. All right. And we got this one here. All right. We got a pound. This is the last one, I believe. All right. This was what I wrote. I was looking for price to come and sweep these long, uh, these make this low resistance liquidity run, L I R R. I just, I'm, price will pull back. You see how bearish it was how much momentum was in i'll look for a price to correct a little bit maybe uh we balance this uh fair value gap this bearish fair value gap and turn down that's what i was looking for All right and we go to the original and it's still in the process of pulling back it came down more and then it went up more so uh this is going to be very interesting what i'm looking for is price to hit that red dotted line and maybe uh, start to turn over. Yeah. And that's it, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Just wanted to share that with you. May profits be upon you.